basically. So what are we naming that? One of us, one of us. Wait. He's one of us. This is a really cool deck because it's like you get to play sh all the shapeshifters and like you have you just play Ur Dragon and they're like cool. I just think Ur Dragon's gonna be cooler than Morphon because like look at what this does. Like it it draws yeah. cards for every dragon, which all the changelings are gonna be dragons. You oh, know? you have to add him to command zone because he's currently in creatures. Yeah, I still that's still a bug that they're they've been having to do. So the thing is, because we are still playing. Let's all do the, all the uh, changelings first. Yeah. So Morphon, so Morphon's gonna be in there. So let's just get him out of the way. You actually, wait, Tom. Here we can do. Uh, close that. Like just backspace. I right, go into advanced fil filters. You see where it says advanced and the little arrow right underneath the search. Where it's yeah, click there and that where it says uh type uh subtype or no um no 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 not one of those where it says in the it's text you can play you just play yeah. Actually, no, go to Oracle Text. Never mind, because it, it won't be in there. Because it's actually Changelings in, or, uh, in its Oracle Text, not Shapeshifter, because we'll get ones that aren't Changelings. So close that out. It, down where it says Oracle Text underneath subtypes, just type Changeling. And we'll get every Changeling. Did I spell it wrong? Oh, it's, uh, let me see, uh, it's G E L. So it's change, like full change, like you, like even with the E, and then Ling. Yeah, they usually, it breaks English, because usually you get rid of the so E and stuff. I think and we play that, dude. Yep. Uh, do we play this that makes the color shapeshifters? Do we? I think we'll have enough, honestly. There's no, but, a lot. but there's there's the better one. There's the Maskwood. Uh... Yeah, we just play Maskwood Nexus, because now they're also everything. Yeah, we just got to remember, is that going to be on this... Yes, that's oh, there. Yeah, I so, saw it. Yeah. yeah, so we'll just let me just go back. Okay, so uh, blade to the veil. Oh, yeah. So remember, we get to play like these instants are kind of funny. So this why don't, dude... throw them, why don't we just throw them all in there? Just put them all we'll in like, there. Yeah, we'll just take them out as like as except Even for maybe instance? like not the instant. Not the, no, we want the... the creatures. We might want to play crib swap because we're probably going to play reflections. Mm-hmm. And we'll just take out the ones that we really don't like. See, yeah, see I like I like Crip Swap because this is a yeah. shapeshifter, and yeah, and, yeah so. you don't need the instant. I forgot how many cool. Oh, I love the irregular the irregular cohort because it's like makes two. Oh no, that's the one I was thinking of. Uh, Mirror into these cool. There's the one I really like that uh, that has less that like it it loses. Oh, not loses. It costs less depending what you have in play. And because changelings are all creature types, it only costs two mana. Man, we've gotten so many. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, there is the, the Valiant Changeling. Costs one less to cast for each creature type. So there's all of our... Now, 40. We'll have to cut some. So the first most broken thing... The world tree, yep. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, wait, sorry, you have to clear out your advanced filters. All right. Yeah, just take that out, yeah. Because the world tree is not a changeling. Reflections of Lichara. Uh, Kindred Discovery. Kindred Summoning. Do we want to play that? Yeah, just puts them in the play. We get a lot of uh, uh, duality. What's that stupid... Uh, uh, shit. I just lost my train of thought. Uh, the stupid dude that like says whenever you cast like a druid, you draw, and then you can steal their lands. I, I think that card's funny. <laughs> what is that card called? I don't know. Oh, I gotta find it. I do. Uh, Whenever you cast No. Uh, I, th 
think it's when you cast a druid you get to draw. No, I'm looking for it. Oh, it's a uh, guilt leaf arch druid. That sounds right. Tap seven and tap druids you control. Gain control of all lands target player controls. Oh, it's guilt leaf, like guilty. Oh, I guess no. It's like I, or guilt as in G I L. It's their own weird. There it is. There's guilt leaf. There's like apostrophe between it. It's G I L. G I L T. Wait, it's G I L T. Arch Druid? Leaf Arch Arch Druid. There he is. Yeah, whenever you play a Druid spell, draw a card. You can tap seven of them to steal lands. Mm -hmm. All lands. <laughs> so Um Risen Reef is really cool too. Udvara Hellkite? Yeah, Risen Reef, yes. Should we play Udvara Hellkite? Sure. We can also play Magda. They're all dwarves. And then we get to tutor anyone also, that we need to. Also, Dragon Tempest, because they deal damage when they enter. Yeah. Uh, And what's the... Scourge, right? Scourge. And look at that. Dragon Tempest gives them haste, too. Yes. Well, flying creatures get haste. That's they don't the all have flying, though, but yeah. No. So, so what is it? Scourge of Valakus? What is it? Which which one? The one that deals damage is Valkus. Oh yes. yeah, Scourge of Valkus. Yeah. So what's the what what's the other one you just said? Um, oh Magda. Oh yeah, Magda. Yes. Because we're all dwarves, and it gives them a, a plus one. Did plus you play zero. Lord of Unreal? Um. Yeah, yeah, Lord of the Unreal. Actually, no, no, I didn't do Lord of the Unreal. I did um Track of... Skull Captain. Because it, it, it didn't need to double blue. Yeah, but I mean, if we break the... If we make a broken... What is the Drag Skull Captain? It's the same thing? It's a, it's for, it's Spirits get plus one, plus one in Hexproof. But it's a, a blue and white. So it's a little less mana restrictive, I guess. But just one more mana. I guess Lord of the Unreal also is real good. Isn't it Captain? Isn't it Trog? Trog's oh, but no, there it is. It's it's three it's a third from the top. Well, that's a different. Um, one. yeah, it's from the precon commander deck. Uh, Reaper King. I like. So we're gonna play like Beast Whisperer. Yeah. Guardian Project. Did you want to play like the mana wealth sliv sliver or things that make them so like they tap for mana? That stuff sounds good. Uh, there's also things that like pop permanents that are slivers. Uh, Guardian Project, Great Henge. Zendikar. Oh, and Dragon's Horde, we get the run. So what what were you saying? The uh... oh um uh drag dragon sword. I got dragon sword. Okay. Um. What? Do you, how do you feel about coveted prizes in this deck? Because it, it'll it'll cost. So it's it costs one less to catch for each creature in your party. So it's five mana in the party's four. So it basically becomes a demonic tutor when. Yeah. Have a, have a good black. have a good night, man. Yeah. Take it easy, dude. So what did you say? Coveted. What what does it do? Uh, it, it's so it costs one less to cast for each creature in your party. For and it's five mana, one black. So, um, search your library for a card, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. If you have if you have a full party, you may cast a spell with CMC four less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So for basically, if we have one changing in play, because our party is four creatures, it costs one black to tutor any card, and we get to play a four this card one? for free. Yeah. Yeah. Seems good to me. Uh, so we we were talking about the slivers, right? So oh yeah, so mana wealth wealth slivers the one that gives them makes them mana rocks. So let's mana mana wealth. You said because I think it's one of the cheapest one. There is the human that the I think it's Catilda that makes them all mana, uh, rock, but it just costs less. 
and the the cloud shredder sliver I like. That's the flying in haste that gives them all the doubles. Oh, not codex shredder. Cloud shredder. You know, there's, I was there's definitely too. there's definitely other good ones too. We can also play Yuriko. Oh, they because are they are all ninjas. We could also play Tovlar because they are also all werewolves. Well, if we're gonna play like Tovlar for drawing, we could just play Orin Frostfang and it's better. But Yuriko draws and deals True. damage to everybody. That's yeah. that's that's different. Yuriko is two mana and deals damage to everybody. If we want to play Tovalar, we could just play Oron Frostfang if you want to do that. We also play the first sliver because they technically will are will all cast K. I still gotta be careful about putting in too many lords. Should we play uh Perforos just to make, to have the win off war or or world tree could, or just um I like Crux of Fate in this deck also because Oh yeah, know. Crux of Fate, yeah. That's a dumb one. Isn't there uh like a destroy all non zombies? Oh, which that would kill them, right? Yeah. Cause this one destroys all non dragons. No no no, because if they're zombies it wouldn't kill them. Yeah, destroy all dragons, destroy all non-dragon creatures. So they are a dragon, so... But yeah, but isn't there one that, like, kills all non-zombies? Oh, uh, no, it's... It, well, uh, I was gonna say just run Kindred Dominance. No, that just destroys everything. I'm trying to think, uh, there was definitely, uh... There was the... It's one of the... It's... No, it's destroy all humans. And you return all zombies from your graveyard into play. Yeah, which we don't want to play that because they're humans. Actually, wait one second. Um. Well, remember, we can also just play the two broken, like, ruinous ultimatum. And what's the one that brings them back? Uh, um... Is it Eerie? No, Eerie, yeah, Eerie is a you know, permanent card with different names, right? Definitely play those. They're so broken. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Should we play Archetype? And we could also play Rooftop Storm. Oh, what about Unesh? That's broken. Oh, because it makes them cost two less? And the and bottom effect. I just don't like giving dumping creature. If it was a spell deck, maybe. But remember, they get, we were probably going to end up dumping cards that we want. Yeah, but you know we're green. We're I. I mean, I guess. It's I mean, just it could still, be real good. It still it still seems like a lot of value. We're green, so we're probably going to end up playing like seasons pass and certain return when we get to that. Because I mean, obviously, we're going to cut have to cut some of the fifty four creatures we're playing. Yeah. Uh. Else. <laughs> uh, you know the, the egg dude because they're all eggs technically yeah but the thing is, is we're not putting a lot of dumb shit into play we just get mostly another changeling right um Hyrabaz druid is the adds x man of one color where x is the number of allies you control doesn't seem too bad how much man is that two it's a creature, so it's reusable. Uh, I think I'd rather pray priest, priest of Titania. Because that's for all elves. Well, because that just makes green, though. Oh, Druid what is... makes any one color. What well, is it called? It adds X mana of any one color. It's Harabaz Druid. H-A-R-A. Definitely want Bloom Tender. Oh, what about um, what's the the Birds. what's the fight the not Manolith the Chromatic Ori? Yes, we definitely want that. Because we're five colored. And Chromatic Lantern. Ooh. 
<laughs> What's the other Bloom Tender called? Oh, Fabro Elder. You know, I've always messed up on that one for so many times because I always forget it. And I finally, finally didn't have to because I've been looking at so many multicolor decks recently. Is there any? I'm just trying to think of broken creature related things. Rooftop storm. Uh, uh, whelming waves kind of fun. Oh, Liliana's contract could also be funny. Oh yeah, whelming wave because it doesn't bounce the. It would only hit It'll the bounce lords. our commander and like our other few things, but doesn't uh, a zombie lady of scrolls because they're also technically all wizards. So you can just start tapping on the oh, draw cards. A zombie seems good. Oh, I think also I played uh, Dryad of the Elysian Grove because extra lands and making the many colors and five colors. Let's go. Uh, right, I guess. I just the color fixing, and we are still like creature based deck, so all the the draw off of. Uh, Potential creature cast. Yeah, but we might have enough multicolored rant when we're done that, you know, plus. I, like, I guess we'll see. Yeah, yeah, plus, like, the world. Like, we just have so many ways to, like, make sure we have the colors that we need. What do you think about, like, Adomri's call is just a way to, like, we should definitely a creature that way? Shamanic Revelation because it's going to have a lot of creatures. Mm -hmm. Uh, Adomri's call? Yeah, that seems good. I mean, we could just play Demonic Tutor. Not sure, I guess, yeah. If we're going to play some. <laughs> Definitely Cavern of Souls. And under uh should we play the what's the other one called? Unclaimed territory. And what's the new one called? Oh right, I forgot we have that new one now. Don't remember what it's called. You have to go find it. It's in land somewhere. Secluded courtyard. Oh, I like they have it already. Yeah, they're usually pretty good about adding Next shit. It's illegal. Can't play it. It's broken. Just like that commander deck they made. Yeah. Whoopsies. How did they mess that one up? I don't know, man. Like, you think they're going through the list? Uh, yeah, honestly, they're kind of stupid, to be honest. Oh, I like Yuriko in here. That's really funny. <laughs> like, that's yeah. going to be really funny. It's it's even more draw. I'm just trying to think of other things. Like, should we play, like, the elf that gives elves forest walk with, like, a Yavimai or just play, like, archetype or something? Mm -hmm. Or something that gives things flying? Like, there's the zombie that gives flying. There's... I'm trying to think of things that give flying. Oh, wait, like we have the one the sliver that does it. Right. Flying and um. Oh, there's definitely still more slivers we can play. There's there's some really insane slivers. The f the first sliver. I don't That's know a sliver. I mean, that would cascade all of the uh Yeah. We could play actually uh Gronlock the Omnivore because they are all of frogs. Mm -hmm. But that's that's getting rid of a lot of yeah. cards. Yeah, a uh, gem hide sliver is the other sliver that makes mana. Just reading the rest of these. Defender, Unearth, Outlast. One of them gives double strike. That's the flip a coin one. Double strike, flying, colorless. Trample, haste. Whenever this permanent enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact or enchantment. That yeah, that, that one seems good. But I mean, would we just run aura shards or would we run this? 
Um, I guess it depends what what you want to do. I feel like order charge is just better. Oh, uh, completely fair time. So uh, we have to run um swarm yard because we can regenerate target insect rat spider or squirrel. Oh, there's probably a lot of funny lands we can play. Here's one that can sack this permanent, destroy permanent. Uh, I don't really like that one as much. Okay, so swarm yard, you said. I I like uh, slivers can't be blocked except by slivers. I just saw him in there. Yeah. Uh, and isn't there like Griffin's Canyon? Doesn't that do something funny? I think it makes a Griffin every turn, but they have to sacrifice a creature. No, it's untapped target Griffin. That Griffin gets plus one plus one until oh, end okay. of turn. Um, Animal Sanctuary is, puts a plus one counter on target bird, cat, dog, goat, oaks, or, ox, or snake. That sounds funny. Uh, what's the beast? Um, Yavi, Unholy Yavi, Grotto. Ma Yavi Maya Hollow? Yeah. That's expensive, but... Reg but that just regenerates a target creature, and that could be anything. Oh, that's anything. Oh, my bad. I thought, I thought, wait, no, 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 there's one for beast. What's the one for beast? There's oh, a I cheap was one a for yard. No, no, there's another one. Oh. Uh, regenerate. The Beastie Boys? Right. A beast land. Definitely exists. Because Jack plays it. <sighs> no. This. Oh, no, does that, it fight something? That fights. Oh, is it that? Is that what I was thinking of? Maybe. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah, it can just fight something. Should we play like a... I don't know, like a coat of arms or something? Um, I, I like annoyed to... Oh, no, um, shared animosity. Because we yeah. want to attack and... Yeah, I mean, that's... Just so we don't risk the the chance of them the opponents getting the buff too. Also, that's one thing about I've kind of really arm. been liking archetype of imagination recently because mm -hmm. it's just like a you just win pretty much. And then also, especially uh, when we're attacking, uh, probably we should play like finale or like and maybe crater hoof. No, not not life's finale. Where did that go? It's not what I clicked. Probably Crater Hoof. He can still win. Right. Isn't there like a coat of arms sliver? Uh, yeah, it's Sliver Legion. It's expensive. We just have to be careful because we're we're putting in so many. Oh, I guess it's not so bad. They have a... Oh, I had it. I forgot it reprinting in Time Spiral. That's hard to cast though. Are there any other dragons we want to play? Like, do we want to play, like, Lothalus? Like, the one that makes 4-4s? We just want to be careful, because, like, we have to be careful we don't have too many creatures that are not changelings. You, you have to play, like, a really fine balance. Like, there's so many good things, because there's every tribe is open to us. Mm -hmm. um, I could give you the, like, I think I remember going through and picking, like, my favorite changelings that maybe we could try to stick to, and then see what else we could play around with about our creature base. Yeah, so we should... If we want to fix the creatures first, and then so a me to... boy chain. So let's go for the changelings that I really oh, like. Oh wait, so, I like... think I, I don't, I don't think this is supposed to be there though. No. So a me boy changeling, I like. Yes. Um, the next one I kept was avian changeling, the flying one. Mm -hmm. Um, then bloodline pretender. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, chameleon colossus. You didn't like the wanderer. Nah, not as much. Yeah, colossus. Because I think good. we. Then, the Berserker is um, part of the combo. The hero yeah. and the Berserker. Oh, the champion, yep. Then uh, Changeling Outcast. You kept these two? The hero and the... I didn't keep hero. Well, the I combo guess, yeah. the combo is you need three of the champion. Plus, remember, when we champion something and it dies, we get another ETB of like another thing entering or like anything. But do, you know? We don't really have too much ETB except for... Uh, 
Guardian, that's cast. So Necro Duality, I guess, and Kindred. Guardian. I guess we have three things. Oh, I guess we have the Drag. Actually, yeah, okay, no, we do. We have. Okay, yo. Uh, we have to change the outcast just because it can't be blocked. Oh, so this is the here. infinite ETB combo. So we might have to find a way to win off of the world tree or like, you know, so. Uh, but what else um, did you say you kept? Did th you... Then I went, so I, then I, the next one I kept was Grave Shifter. So anything else before that. You I cut kinda, this? No, I kept that one. Just, oh, especially in this deck because we want to attack with it. Because keep... it can't be blocked. No, this I got, didn't play that one. What about, did you keep the Titan or no? Um, that is the third. I didn't, but that's the other champion. So if we want to keep the triple champions, Shenanes. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that after because I know that. What about I the cut that one? Yeah, it's just a. We don't really need that. Um, I kept. I got rid of that one because it's five mana for four tramples. Just okay. Uh, I th I think I cut that one too. I think the grave shifter I kept. What about the ritualist? Uh, no, I I got rid of that one because the effect is irrelevant. So it's just a 3-3 changeling. I was trying to keep ones with the best effects. Graveshifter I kept. I kept Imposter of the Sixth. So you didn't keep this? Um, whenever I did the best on target, no. Uh, Imposter I kept. Then a regular uh, cohort. Um, Masked Vandal. That one wasn't too bad. I think that was one of the ones I was having a hard trouble time kicking. Got it. Like the counters, like things just felt okay. You got this? Yeah. And then you went on uh, the way to I think Vandal. Masked Vandal is the next one I kept because I really like that one. Obviously, Mirror Entity. Mirror Entity, yep. Uh, the, the Moon Glove Changeling. So you cut this? I didn't play that one, yeah. Uh, then the Moth Dust. I didn't play him either. I guess you could. You want to be the worst. He can copy the commander. Yeah. He makes I things guess not my, legendary. Because my original build, I played Morphon. So I guess he could say uh, okay. Realm Walker. We have Morphon. The Changeling. Uh, Did you keep Muda, this thing? Yeah, I kept him. Yeah. Um, I didn't Orvar. run Orvar. But he could be good. I don't know how much stuff we target, though. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. We really don't have, we really have like two. But the bottom players. is uh whenever a spell an opponent controls causes you to discard, create a token that's a copy of the permanent. Discard this card. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, if Realm, you don't Realm, play it. Yeah, Realm Walker stayed. Mm -hmm. Um Shape Share stayed. Skeletal Changing stayed, Torn Mollard stayed. Uh, Universal Automaton. I didn't keep him. Um, Unsettled Mariner, because he is absolutely busted. Um, Valiant Changeling, yep. Uh, Venomous Changeling. And Woodland Changeling was the last one I kept. The other ones, I just, I feel like those were like probably like some of the best and or cheaper ones. Woodland Changeling, I guess it could also potentially come out because he's just okay. And I like some of the other ones we had instead. Just a two mana two too. I like the ones that actually do things. Okay. It's a lot of creatures. Yeah, we're probably gonna still end up cutting things, but we gotta get to the other stuff first. So Arcane Signet. Uh do you uh do you want to still run some land ramp? Because we're Do we play Marari's Wake? Or like... Probably. Oh, don't forget. You got Chromatic Lantern in there, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Here's a deck where I probably would like Marari's Wake just because of the creature buff. Oh, Atomically forgot. Um, uh, Was it the Dragon's Fire? What's that card that gives dragons plus two, plus two, or plus three, plus three? Crucible of Worlds? No, Crucible of Fire. There it is. Dragon Fire, Crucible Worlds. No, Crucible of Fire. Isn't there... Is there no more dumber, like... 
the sliver be worth it? Like them all coat of arming? Like in my hand. They'll make them huge. What was it? It was sliver Re legion, right? Sliver legion. Okay, so we need to play more ramp. Uh. So. All right. Uh, so we're playing Bloom Tender Birds. The Fabro. There's the what's the thing called that taps equal to the? Oh, the Druid. It's like, it's a B. It's a B. I thought it was. Oh no, or is it H? Oh yeah, uh, Haribaz Druid. That's what. So it's this called. always at least taps for one, right? Yeah, so that's a ramp. Uh, so that's what, like, four or five creature ramp already? And then, like, Magda's kind of like a half one. Uh, I feel like this is worth... Uh, so then we have four or five... Hey, Tom. That new commander that doubles attack triggers works with the Ear Dragon. As does the other Gruel double attack trigger guy that we built before. Right, but like nothing else. Like it's probably just Kindred Discovery. Is the only other thing that it works with. Yeah. Uh, so. Actually. Shared animosity too, because I think that's uh, an attack trigger, technically. I'm not saying we should run it in here. I'm just saying it's like, hey, funny things that it works with. Yeah, we might. I mean, we might even end up cutting this card, but <sighs> because unless they have some sort of evasion, it's not always going to be that good. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. it, it might end up staying. We'll see. As one of like the, you're just dead, very dead. Uh. Yeah. See, this gives flying creatures haste. Whenever a dragon enters, the dragon tempest effect is why you play that. Because if you have that and you use the world tree, then the game can just end sometimes. So we should probably play like counter spells. So like disallow. This is my favorite. One of my favorites. Uh, Sublime epiphany. Uh, regular counter spell. Mana drain because we don't give a fuck. Dovin's veto. We almost fifty degrees tomorrow. To fairy's protection, damn. To fairy's protection. And then maybe like anguished on making. Yo, know, instead of uh, like arcane denial, or uh, I, I actually might would say uh, play a uh, uh, void slime because it's basically another disallow. Okay. I just like it like when we have the color options open to us, just hitting like the hard hitting hit multiple things. Just two disallows. Let's go. Anguished on making beast within. And then what MDFCs do we want to play? Probably, definitely Glasspool Mimic. There's a lot of good uh, stuff we can copy. Uh, I guess I guess Balligat Recovery. Yes, definitely Balligat. I think Agademes. Yeah, we we have a lot of creatures. So it would it's good to have like Seagate Restoration just because that one's dumb. There's literally no reason not to run that one. Uh, and because the white, I don't think making the angels matters. I don't think board wiping matters. 
I don't think we need the to, the bad draw effect. Well, I guess it's an okay draw effect, and I don't think we need the damage. Malik here just seems okay in this deck. I'd just rather protect and then bring back tapped. Mm -hmm. So that's that. We probably need a little bit more ramp. Uh, mm -hmm. So maybe like Felwar Stone, or do we want to do like land ramp? I feel like it's going to be hard to play a lot of basics. Yeah, I like Felwar Stone just because it hits. Uh, it's most likely will hit any every color. Well, it doesn't matter for us. It, it'll we're five colors, so it'll probably tap for a bunch. Um, We have the Arcane Signet. Uh, I mean, maybe just like one Kodama's Reach or Cultivate, or maybe Cultivate Kodama's and just like they hit, like if we at least run at least one of each basic, it, it could still hit them at least. Yeah, because they are uh, very good. But but not not so much Nature's Lore or... Uh, or um. Well, those are good. Farseek, Nature's Lore. Those are even better if we're going to play all the like shocks and... Oh, sure, I guess they can get them, too, because we'll have so any of them. Because we're probably going to play some of the, like, Triumphs, maybe. Nature's Lore, Farseek. <sighs> Revisits. And I think that's good. That's fine. Okay, so now... I don't tell me that we can't even play three visits in our budget deck list anymore. I guess the one price is low enough. We were never able. It hasn't been. It hasn't been for a while. Yeah, well, I think when we first when we first originally did the three the dollar build, it had dropped down just barely close enough. Oh, did you see? Look at that new art. Yeah, from the command. So I guess it is coming out in the new commander. Which is good because it's randomly been like a couple dollars. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, this is going to be a million cards to cut. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of creatures. I think even maybe some spell counts. See, look, our instant sorceries and enchantments is like kind of a lot. Yeah, for, yeah, like, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna cut stuff for sure. We're, it's just the way that it is right now. I just want the dream of this and this. <laughs> you know, the exiling two creatures. But I mean, we could just play this it's just better you know it's it's just kind of cheese but we'll get to that so let's get the lands in because this is going to be like this is going to be a nightmare to cut cards yeah so. and like there's still more stuff i want to play like i would probably want to play morog uh, nah. like Don't just just to like extra combats maybe just to murder people There's also, but, uh, that, there's also that funny red card that, like, puts Minotaurs into play. Like, you just play, like, four Minotaurs from your deck or something. We kind of don't need it, though, because most of the changelings are cost low enough that we can just play them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's... So, we'll, we'll start. So, I have actually a list of lands here, so I'm just going to go down the list. So, let's start with Blood Crypt. Breeding pool. Death Death Cap Glade. This is unless you control three or or more. Uh, two or are more other lands. So basically, turn three. It's untapped. are we going to play these over the like battle bond ones? Oh, uh, they're they're going to be in there too. We're playing all three. Isn't that too many lands? Um, actually, did I? You know, I think I originally I had done. I didn't play the triumphs, even though they were tutorable. But maybe we could if we have that much. The, the other you're, you're playing. Spells. You're playing like all of them. No, actually, I'm not. I actually didn't play the battle bond lands. Or in the original list. Oh well, those are better. So we can. Play I think those. what I did is I played enough because I think as I had all the land tutors, so I had the the. If I'm ramping into lands, I could have the cheaper versions and not have to worry about the Battle Bond lands. Right. Yeah, but, you know, we can... But if we're just going, then then I'll cut those out. So just, we don't have to run the, the those. Then uh, we'll skip those. We have Exotic Orchard in there. Oh, 
I forgot that. I don't think I put a command tower. Well, good thing, because I just was about to get the good command tower. Oh, with Path, path of Ancestry. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, that's farther down the list. Yeah, Because okay. I'm going alpha, it's going alphabetically. So, uh, we, where were we? Uh, there, uh, Exotic Orchard, uh, Godless Shrine. Hollowed Fountain. You played all the shocks? Yeah. Do you, do you want to go through the Triomes, too? Yes. Okay, so we have the first on the list is Indatha Triome. I love the Triomes, dude. Ketria Triome. There we go. Overgrown Tomb. I'm going alphabetically down the list, so... Then we already hit the Path of Ancestry, so the Rog Rogarin Triome. It's R A U G R. Um, you say how expensive they're getting. Yep. Savai Triome. Theme fence. Stomping ground. Uh, temple garden. A watery grave. And we end with the Zagath Triome. Or Zagoth Triome, however you want to say it. What's that part of land count up to? So that's 24. So we could probably run 25, 26, because we're playing seven, how many MDFCs? 1, 28, 2, 3. We have 4 MDFCs. So that's 28. So we need to put in an island. Swamp. Oh, do we want to play like Urborg and Yavi Maya? Yeah, might as well. Okay, so that puts us at 31. So th that makes us really light on basics. Well, we only have two. We only can tutor four out of our deck anyway. If there's nothing else that will pull them out. We we don't have to run the, the silly land that puts a counter on it. On a, Yeah. I just put a basic in its spot. Probably. I still like green. Green, green early game yeah. is like the best. Everything else seems too good. Yeah, we have a pretty even split. So how many do we have to cut? Or Woo! Holy shit! Uh, Wait, how many lands do we have in total? It's uh, we're missing. We need one more, right? Because we have four MDFCs. Yeah. So we'll do like a a blue, an extra. Sure. Arm. 
So now that puts us at 36. So still definitely want to cut from creatures because we still have so like can, 50 we creatures. Can just cut this, I guess? Yeah. Uh, I also don't know if we need Generous Gift, Beast Within, and Anguish on Macon because I think we actually have a lot of potential removal for permanents that aren't creatures in our. Like, be, I, I didn't end up putting that sliver in that's the harmonica. We have Reaper King. Is that it though? Um, and the scourge, all the the damage directing. If you, I guess we have two different variants that do that. It is damage though, but uh, we are a tech swingy deck. I guess keeping a few of them in there is nice. I guess I mean we could cut one, but how many counter? Hold on, one, two. So we can cut one of the counter spells. Uh, it, might, it, it might be. Do I care more about like the extra effect and cut the, or just I, I no, guess. just cut the, just cut this, right? I guess. Oh yeah, because it doesn't hit uh creatures. Maybe but we'll I mean, lose but them. I mean, the not being countered is ridiculous. Yeah. So like, if they try to do anything to you, if you're the one responding, it's unbeatable. True. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing that I love about it. It might be worth just cutting this because this is probably the yeah. The... It might be the worst set of all of them. Just because wow, I, I, I like this. I don't think we can cut any of this. I mean, maybe maybe that, but everything else seems too strong. Yeah. Uh, maybe our spells over here. We also have the board wipe is cool. We could probably cut one of these. I don't know if we have to play both. No, these all seem good. Remember, like, I think three of those are lands, too. Yes. And these are all... This is like a win condition. Eerie only in eight, ultimate is only as good as how much we get destroyed. Yeah, which remember the creatures are pretty small, so and we have some ETB value. So those are all really good. Uh okay, so we gotta go through the creatures. There's forty nine right. of them. That's where like most of the cuts gotta come in. Yeah, I I do think maybe we have to look at some of like the non changeling creatures. I feel like these two are really good. Those yeah, I like those. Because two a lot. this also works with just the commander, and that makes it really strong. Hmm. So we could cut this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we don't gotta we don't gotta play that. This feels like this feels like a win condition to me. Yeah, no, that's gonna make them so huge. Because all these like win. bad low costed ones that we're playing, like it seems really good. This also seems like a win con. This is stupid. This mm -hmm. is stupid. We don't gotta play this. We can cut that. Yeah, I think we're uh, at, I think honestly I think we're gonna draw enough as is. That's a changeling, 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 changeling. The mana tapping uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's like really nice early game setup to like go explosive and then get our commander in the play and then because we the thing is we still want to play our dragon. But then in reality, we could just play that enchantment that does it right. It truly like is it all creatures that. Do yeah, if we wanted to do that. But it's a creature, and we draw when we play creatures. I know. I'm just. You know, it might not synergize all the time. Also, maybe Magda's not amazing. There's oh. like, we play two dragons in the deck, plus all the shapeshifters. True. I get, uh, well, but Magda also just gets... Uh... We have to attack with small creatures, and it gives them plus one, plus L, but it can Wait, also play, are, it can also play these, these from the deck. We can yeah, get the like great the and also if we have the sliver in play, we stab them for mana and it makes treasures. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this one, maybe we don't need this and the. Yeah, I don't think we need both. This is which really... is which ones do we care about more? I think the lower costed. Team out. Okay, we could try cut. Wait, track actually, school. he has flying. I don't think mana is going to be an issue at that level. Maybe just a little bit more with flying becomes more important. Okay, so I, I think I'm going to cut this because I think we're going to be fine. Our land base is broken. 
and it doesn't okay, do yeah. it doesn't do anything other than mana fix. Yeah, uh, well, a second second land to play, but I guess we might not need dude, it. Dude, we have so many things that tap for mana right now. It's ridiculous. This is this is insane. Like the, the, this card's brutal. It's it's a win con and it's a like a beast whisper for all of our changelings. I feel yeah. like it's kind of mean. I think to make the deck, I guess, like to still be in its quote unquote fun mode. No, he's fine. It's the. I only re kind of really like uh, Finale and Crater Hoof and like the Try Hard decks. Yeah, but I mean, look at how expensive it is. But I guess, I you know. know, expense isn't always like how good the deck is. But. Because I know you could run Finale and Crater Hoof in like literally every deck and just want, want, want like you could run, you could run literally probably just kill like with you have three creatures in play or two creatures in play finale into crater hoof right kill but like the table i feel like it's hard for us to win otherwise i mean we I feel just like... went past like you just said this is a win con to like four different cards as we were growing up yeah but it's just like va it's like value win cons compared to actually murdering them I don't know. We also don't have to run the triple a uh, champion. I mean, that's kind of cool. But, like, it's like if you have all three. If you only have two, like, do we just sit there and hold on to it and wait till we actually get it? And then if they kept deal with it along the way, it's like, are we going to think that that's really going to happen? Well, I mean, I guess we can cut them. Because I remember looking at them originally, I'm like, it's cool, and that, and like, if and if we don't have like the thing that does something when they ETB, then we're not doing with anything with it anyway. Which we have plenty of things that do, but it's fine, I guess. Because I mean, at least with Crater Hoof, it's like it's gonna probably straight up murder somebody. Ugh. Maybe we can cut like one ramp spell. Uh, hold on, one, two. playing 22 changelings right now plus this that can make a so half the creatures in our creature list aren't changelings they all are very good I guess it just comes down to like what you want the deck to do it, 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 I don't think we're at a point where like one thing's technically better than the other it's just like what do we want the deck to do and what do we want to use we could cut this, I guess. That's fine. We don't get to fine. steal lands. People, you know, people don't like that. You it's know, like if you the... see that and play that, people are just gonna like scoop, and you're not gonna have fun with the deck because it's like I'm gonna do cool things. People are like Nads nah, don't want to deal with this. Maybe we don't need a zombie. A zombie is real good, but like I think we're gonna draw so many cards. Like, do we really need it that way too? It's real. Or I'd, or maybe we just like maybe just play her over shamanic revelations then because like it's gonna do the same thing we're gonna draw a card for each one we tap and except a zombie's re recurrable every single time. I agree. I think a zombie's better. Potentially, because none of, we're not like doing any token stuff, and I don't think rich cars or like we could make return of, return of the wild speaker doesn't even work because our stuff's humans. Yeah, that's why I, I didn't suggest it. Uh, 
I like the two board wipes because they're completely Is that yours? Yeah. Which ones was which? Well, there was the one, the, I think. That might be the older one. I wanted to keep. Okay, okay. Sorry. We 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 had a pillow swap today. We got new pillows. Oh, nice. Because my neck was starting to die from my old one, and I was like, maybe it's time to get a new one when I can't get sleep comfortably anymore. Okay, maybe my maybe we don't need mana wealth because another thing I'm thinking about is if our commander makes our changelings cost less. So we already have a bit of a mana reduction against the most of our creatures anyway, and none of our things are super, super expensive. Like, our spells and our enchantments are expensive. But, like, we're going to commit to the board really quickly, I think. Oh, and it no. isn't, like, immediate acceleration. I mean, I love mana wealth, so whatever. Mana wealth. Weft. Mana weft. That's what it is. Maybe that's the one that we don't need. I don't know. I just like them both. I guess it's like I said, it's really which one do we care for more? Which one do you think? We'll... Or maybe like Faye Burrow and Bloom Tender end up not tapping for as much as we think because maybe we get to a situation where we only have like two to three colors out in play. I mean, our commander's five, but. All in like turn nine. We have two five-colored, uh... I mean, because I think red is the one color we're really missing on our, like, we have, like, what? Like, we have a lot more, I think. I feel like I would, I would rather cut, like, this before I cut, like, a Faber or Elder or Bloom Tender. I just like the lands, though. Yeah, you know, lands is, like, because if they deal with a the creature, then, like, at least you still have your lands. It's I just... know it's really good when you have the setup and everything. I mean, could cut the bird. Yeah, we got bird. You know what, bird? Boom. Get You got bolted. Get out of here. This is so difficult. I thought this was going to be easy, and I was like, wait, no, never mind. There's so many good things to pick. It's five colors. No, I like that. How many do I, more do I have to cut? I'm just curious. 13. Ugh. Jesus Christ. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> uh All right, I'm going to I'm going to say something here. And you're not going to like it. Mm -hmm. So, no finale, no crater hoof. And we take out the counter spells and the removal and we just play straight balls to the wall creatures I know it's just crater hoof and finale it's just like it's the go to instant win for green but like what's the fun of playing this f funny er dragon changeling deck if we're just going to win the way every other generic green creature based deck can win I know it hurts Tom but we'll get through it together cut the sublime The generous gift. Maybe I like kindred. I guess yeah. I guess if we're drawing a bunch of cards, we don't need the free hits. Um, I like the ruinous ultimatum. I like Yuri. Maybe you know, say screw. It, we don't need demonic tutor. We'll just we'll just get things the hard way. Well, we have uh, we have this. 
And Covenant Prize is a lot more fun than this deck because it's much on much more on theme. With like creature types. We take out all of our lands. <laughs> we have seven more. Jesus. Thirty nine creatures. Okay, out of the not changelings. Or do you think we could cut like another one or two changelings? What did I say? We have twenty two? Yeah. I still just want there to be enough to like actually matter and not have like a like draw all of our creatures that aren't changelings. Because there's still a lot of our creatures that aren't changelings. And it just feels real awkward. Well, we can we don't need Magda. I mean, she's cool and she makes mana sorta, but like, I don't think there's any one changeling that we're gonna put in the play that like insta wins us the game. It's just really cool, like, to get like the other things that, are, that aren't like, like probably more fun would be the best if we didn't have the dragon in play, or if I mean, if we did have the dragon in play. Yeah, remember the dragon's gonna draw cards and cheat things in. It's any permanent. Mm-hmm. And like God forbid, like this happens, then everything costs less. <sighs> One oh six. Jesus Christ. Alright. Gotta make life choices. Uh Maybe we have enough buffing. Maybe we don't need shared animosity. Maybe you're right. We can cut it. I don't even know if it's enough buffing, but like... I don't even know if it is enough buffing. You know what I think? I don't know. I mean, it's really just this and the sliver now. And the Morphon. Well, Morphon only gives plus one. Like, there's things that give plus one, but that's not... And I guess Great Henge also could, uh... If, the, if it gets in yeah, play early enough. Plus one counters. Oh, and Mirari's Wake. And Crucible. A fire. I mean, we have a decent amount. Thirteen. Okay, we can cut one. That was like fifteen. Plus two mana doublers. Uh S Diffy Sill. That's on you now, my dude. Uh Maybe we cut one of the bad ones. Like just this, maybe? Yeah, one okay. Of the, one of the one drops, maybe? I guess that's the artifact. Because oh, but Universal's free, though. Right. Yeah, it's right. No, he doesn't cost no mana. He's, he's better than... Yeah. Uh. So... Maybe just one of the just, like, generic ones. Uh... Like, uh, oh, that becomes something that gets flying. Pumps does a thing. This is just a three one, I mean. Gets a thing. Um, 
unblockable. Pro black does a thing. Flying. Copies. So my vote would be the either maybe yeah maybe the white one the the, the two the imposter of sixth pride yeah i think just that one is the only one i would cut uh and then maybe No, this gets exponential. This card's like kind of ridiculous, mm -hmm. especially if you somehow like get these both going. Like that just kind of gets ridiculous. That's like one of our only real ways to win, other than Dragon Tempest. And I guess the World Tree with one of them out, because you just get murdered. Uh, and I still like Archetype because that's another way to win. Oh, we didn't even play Chrome as well. Uh, I gotta put don't it need in. it. We do nope. need it. No, 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 no. We don't we need, do it. need it. We do need it. We don't need it. Oh, actually, our commander's not out all the time, so it's not even that good all the time, I guess. Ah, see, there you go. Uh, I want to keep those three. I like these because they're flavorful. Those are lands. These are all too good. We're down to like the bare minimum protection that we could play. Don't worry, we also have the one sliver that that is the one uh changing that also is really annoying with like gives protects us the the mariner. Yeah. Yeah. Also, really also we have the the sh the drog skull. Yeah. I hate it. This is the hardest one we've ever had to do. No, I think we spent more time on the Boros one. Maybe. Maybe Eerie is just like okay. Like if, we're not. If we we're playing like, zero. Like this is our literal only recursion. Yeah, sometimes that's all you need. And since we're like a heavy ass creature deck, the like, thing is, I think our creatures are kind of redundant because it's like whatever we draw plus whatever good creature then we, we go with. It also it. gets these. This yeah. is way too good. If and, we get if they get dealt with, and like you know, we could play Rift instead of like playing this or or playing this, but. Well, actually, no, maybe I don't like Crux of Fate now because we have a lot of non-dragons that we play because, like, we're, like, half changeling, half good things that will kill a lot of our stuff, even if it doesn't kill our changelings. I'll leave the rest to you, Tom. I have no more decision-making power in me. <laughs> Damn, this is so difficult. Her dragon makes him cost one less, right? Or yeah, two less? Colorless less. Here, this is what. I will admit that uh, I think the. No, no, I think he's really good. They're all real good. Shut up, go home. We have like six kind of ways to draw. Plus the Ur Dragon is seven. Eight. Not kind of, because if we have no cards, it doesn't do anything, but it's kind of like a half. Oh, and this. This draws two. So nine. Mm -hmm. Uh. But 
I guess it's not going to work well because we want to attack, and then that means we're leaving things back, and we're just tapping things to draw. But like, you know, we should be attacking. I don't know. It's well, the thing is, it's setting up to the point where we can attack. I know. And then we just get the cantrip. Then, like, uh, it's so good. It's so good. We're still playing like twenty something in this. I can't do it. I can't do it. Seppuku is an option. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, w I wouldn't blame you. Jesus. It's just because there's too much good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a, the problem of playing all colors. Which one of these is better? Um, I think Druid, technically, because we only have to tap him to make the same amount of mana that tapping our creatures would make if they were slivers. So, like, we tap four creatures. Even though this makes make only four one mana. color? Yeah. As where this can just, make anything. We just play around the color that we need most. <laughs> There's one more. We don't have to play test it either. Uh if you don't want to, because it's like ten o'clock. Uh we do one quick hand with it. Alright, one oh one, got it. Uh I'm about to cut a land. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, do it. You won't. You 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 was we do have a lot of land. A lot of ramp. Oh my god. I know it's gonna hurt, but let's do it. Let's see what happens. Buy a glass pool. No, no just yeah, cut the island. island. 